Hi, I'm Katie Hess with Liquor Grow, and today we have a very special guest with us, Nicole Steckline. She's our DeKalb agronomist. You probably recognize her from her TikToks. And Nicole, folks say, do you watch her TikToks? And I say, no, I have her cell phone number. <laughs> it's so. good. It's less embarrassing that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nicole, my first question is about corn rootworm. We're seeing a lot more pressure. We have a new product that's coming to the market, Smart Stacks Pro. What would you like to tell the folks at home about that? basically how excited i am about it um so all of the rootworm products on the market up until now have worked off the same premise they're all just different bt proteins where with smart stacks pro we're still utilizing two of those bt proteins but we're also bringing in a brand new mode of action called rnai which works in a completely different way. So we had a lot of these plots out last year in high rootworm areas, and it looked phenomenal. This year, we were lucky enough to be able to sell and plant in field some of the Smart Stacks Pro. So we're gonna get the opportunity here in the next couple of weeks to do some of these root digs and evaluate the performance. Sure, so if guys had those yellow bags, that was the Smart Stacks Pro numbers that we put out there. Um, and we actually have an intern this year. She's going to be doing some of these rootworm digs for you. We've got about 20 different locations on her list. So I'm really excited for what we can do. Yeah, we're going to get great data off of what she's doing. If folks want to learn more about the mRNAi technology, check out your TikTok, right? Yeah, we, there, there's stuff on there. <laughs> so the second thing I want to ask you about is this short corn and mm -hmm. what the name's going to be for it and what we're where we're at on that and when it's coming. Yes, so we are calling it the smart corn system because it's more than just a short hybrid where it's stacking up those nodes below the ear to give us a shorter plant that catches less wind, gives us a girthier stock, which gives us better wind protection. Um, and really when we talk about risk in farming and as the weather becomes more volatile, we're getting a lot more storms, you know, a big part of my job is going out and looking at problems. And with all the storms that we get, I end up seeing a lot of down corn. So I think that this is going to be a great option, a great system for us to be able to mitigate some of that risk. And we also have a lot more high clearance machines and we're doing a lot more in season work. So it's gonna allow us to get over the corn a little bit better. Yes, and how, that, oh, go ahead. Oh, Sorry. how much shorter is this corn than your traditional? corn so we're targeting seven feet in height maximum but then also with that we're also targeting a minimum ear height to make sure that we can get in there and do that harvest okay great and what are you like where are we going to see that this year the short the short corn or smart corn many different places all across the state so we actually have um a lot of full scale trials because one of the things that we wanted to do was it's not just about us bringing a product to the market and telling you guys and the farmers how to best utilize this. We want to get real on farm data uh, so that we know the best way to get everything out of it. So you're looking at population and nitrogen and different different management styles. Yep. Cool. So um, we actually have two of those in our um, customer base this year. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. And we also have an intern that is doing some weekly um, scouting for you guys on that. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully that this is some information that you'd like to see. Don't forget, we do have a fungicide um, seminar coming up next week and you can sign up. I think it's pinned to our different social media outlets. Um, thanks so much, Nicole, for being a part today. Yeah, thanks, Katie.